So I'm driving down the street and I see these companies, these cleaning companies, and they're in rusty vans. The people in them in them are not kept up very well. They have they have just a phone number and saying the service that they offer and that's it. But nothing about the van is professional or the truck or whatever they're driving. It's really important when you hire a company to come work for you, do some work for you, window cleaning or any type of cleaning otherwise, of course they need to be uniformed, but also their vehicles. The vehicles of the company that you hire should look good. They should be professional. They should have graphics on them. They should have lettering explaining exactly what that company offers. You should have no question whatsoever who is showing up at your door, who is knocking on your door, and who is doing the work for you. Company vehicles, company image is a must. If they care about their image, they're going to care about your image. So you're going to pressure wash your own driveway. And you find when you get the power washer, it has five different tips. Each of those tips do different things. The black one is what you need for getting the degreaser on your driveway. The yellow one is what you need for general power washing. The green one will do a high power pressure washing. The red one I would not use because that would dig a hole in your concrete. The reason you want to use the black tip for pressure washing is it allows a lot of water flow at very low pressure, but you don't need a lot of pressure when you're putting the degreaser onto the concrete. So when you put the black tip on, it, would allow, it, it will allow the chemical to go through into your hose and that's the only tip that actually will allow the chemical to go on the concrete. With the other tips, the yellow and the green, those are the ones that you want to use to actually take the degreaser off as well as the oil off your driveway. So that is what you use the tips for, for the power washing. Good luck. If you're talking to a window cleaning company and you want them to come to your house or your, or your commercial building or retail building, you want to ask them if they're going to do a walkthrough. When they're done with their work, you don't want them just to get up and leave. You want them to be able to come back to you, go through a checklist, have them sign it, have you sign it, so that when they leave, you have closure. You know that they did the job that you were looking for, that you were fully satisfied. And that way, they have accountability to you, and you know the work was done at precisely the standards that you have on that job. And if you're talking to a company that doesn't offer walkthroughs, I highly suggest you find another company that does. You want someone that has accountability and that will be able to go through that checklist with you. You want to make sure that job is done to high quality standards. So if you like what you've seen and you want to learn more, go to my website, jjwindowash.com.